Hi, Glenn. Hi, Lou. Lights, camera, COVID. It's what every Hollywood producer has to take into consideration anytime they start up a production, whether that's on a soundstage or a movie set. Now, the unions that represent the actors and the crews have been working with the studio executives for the better part of the last few weeks, trying to come to terms with what makes sense moving forward in keeping these productions up and running, but also keeping everyone safe. The unions that we're talking about include SAG AFTRA, the DGA, IOTSI, and the Teamsters, as well as the Alliance of Motion Picture and Television Producers. They've been talking to studio heads for weeks, going back and forth on what exactly needs to be done and what rules and protocols need to be put into place. Now, when they started these negotiations, they were looking to try to loosen up on some of the restrictions that have been in place since they last reached an agreement of September of last year. But since then, at least here in Los Angeles County, there have been sharp increases in the number of COVID cases, specifically because of the Delta variant. So they had to come to some sort of agreement and conclusion. Basically, there's no one size fits all. It will be a case by case decision, but certain producers in certain circumstances can enforce their actors and those who work on their crew to have a vaccination before reporting to work. Now, again, there is no one size fits all, and it's not clear on exactly how everything would be enforced, but they'll be looking at things like the frequency of testing and also meal times and various things that go into the Hollywood production. Here, too, is a joint statement, or at least part of it, that was released today. It says, quote, the COVID-19 safety agreement is the outcome of an unprecedented coordination and solidarity between the unions and collaboration with employers to develop science-based protocols that minimize the risk of COVID-19 virus transmission in the industry's unique work environments. And those work environments certainly are unique. Of course, actors cannot appear on screen with masks if they're trying to do a scene. Uh, and productions have shut down, including Bridgerton. Season 2 was shooting in the UK just this last week. They had to halt production completely. Also, the HBO production uh, that is the prequel to Game of Thrones also had to cease production. And we've seen this time and time again, even on Tom Cruise's Mission Impossible. That set had to close down a couple of times because of COVID outbreaks. So again, the deal appears to be in place. It will be in place until the end of September. And that's when they say that the unions will get together again with the studio bosses to try to determine what's next moving forward. Because things, as you know, when it comes to COVID, keep changing. That's the very latest here in Hollywood. I'm Wendy Birch, and I'll send it back to you. All right.